Hey, Eric Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a happy new year. So a little message that I channeled is you're not going to allow other people to dictate what you want to do in your life. You're just going to go. Go for whatever you want to go for. Fuck what everybody else thinks and says. I'm in rare form today. So don't mind me. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm in rare form. But I feel like I've been in a twilight all day. I went to work. You know, I saw people that I, I love to connect with. And I just felt so disconnected um, so maybe you guys are feeling like disconnected like emotionally disconnected from people um, let's see what's going on I don't know the energy just feels like twilight zone ish like I really like give two fucks <laughs> like I don't know how else to to put it um, so let's see. Let's see what it what it's about. Let me say my little prayer. Alright, so you don't have to be an earth sign for it to resonate with you. If it found you, it just may be for you. Alright. So, earth signs. <laughs> Somebody may want to do a 69 with you. Uh, someone is also feeling like, why, why did you dip out so, so quickly? Why did you leave so quickly? The Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. So, somebody wanted closeness with you. But you dipped out on them. They were seeing the Ten of Cups. But you pulled away. Oh, are you guys in lack energy? King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sage. Not feeling good enough. So what's going on, Earth Signs? Or is this your person feeling like this? Oh, somebody wanted, wants to give you a cup of love, but they feel left out. Two different decks here. Somebody feels like they may not be measuring up to what you need. Goodness. So emotional. Yeah, four of wands. I knew I was going to cry because I've been crying all day. This is just like heaviness heavy energy like there's indecision and there's not feeling good enough like left out so somebody's feeling like left out by you or you feel left out by this person or you're not sure like which direction you guys may be fearing making the wrong decision with this person like not clear, you're not clear, and you don't want to be blindfolded. And you guys are used to making wrong, wrong decisions, and you just think like this is gonna be another wrong, another wrong decision. If you have to cry, cry. You have to yell, yell. Release it. You could be a Leo. It's just an emotion. Then you guys may be letting your emotions get into your mental. Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to put the Ten of Cups into you. Somebody wants to make you happy. <laughs> the King of Wands meets the Queen of Wands. It's centering the reed. So you have a divine partnership here. 
possibly with a Leo or a fire sign. Person brings in happiness, enlightenment, empowerment. Person wants to make you feel empowered, protect you. And then other person's like, okay, I'll protect you. <laughs> and uh, you show me a lot of happiness. So you show me happiness and love energy and I'll show you action and, and love energy and I'll show you that I could protect and defend you. But I feel like there's things hidden here with this person. Hiding that they want partnership. <laughs> Somebody, you guys are howling at each other here from both ends of the water. From land to ocean. A lot of feelings. A lot of hidden feelings, I think. See, it's reverse. It's not seen yet. So it's, it's, uh, you probably didn't speak to this person about having a relationship just yet. Or like feeling so, so emotional over them. But it's like, here, <laughs> I want to make you happy. Here's my love energy. I want to fill your cup up. You make me happy, so I want to make you happy. <laughs> so is this love energy that I'm feeling? <laughs> or drowning? Is somebody drowning in their emotions because they're hiding? They're hiding feelings. They're hiding. They're hiding. Oh my God, so much. Both of you. Both of you are feeling love for one another. Ace of Cups <laughs> on both sides. So enlightenment. This, this is going to be brought to light between the two of you. Somebody's going to become very expressive. Sorry. Oh my God, a lot of Leo energy here. Virgo energy. Somebody's coming out and becoming stronger about how they feel for you. Their feelings for you are growing stronger as time passes. So they know they have to come out of introspection and cloaking and hiding themselves to come after you. Again, these decks are all mixed. So somebody wants to come out of dissatisfaction and cloaking the hermit cards here in reverse twice dissatisfaction somebody maybe wanted to come out of a commitment or just becoming wiser in their energy taurus libra but a judgment call is going to be made with this person to come in and express they can't hold it anymore look <laughs> Could be a younger water sign with a cup of love in hand. Let me get rid of my boogies. With a cup of love. They are locked in. This person is heavily locked into you. Like, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to love you up. Get ready. Not only love you up, but invest. Make sure that it, it works. Make sure, you know, we grow. <sighs> but this is like, this is the energy right now. It's. You're being pulled, or this person is being pulled both ways. Like, oh my God, not enough. The situation is not an ideal situation to be going into. Should I invest here? And people are in the ear. They're in their own head. But then you guys see you guys as a match. Like you go together very well with one another. And then you gain your enlightenment. They love this person. You want partnership with this person, but it's hidden. So someone's having realization about their feelings. 
and needing to approach a couple love. Who's this person coming in with a couple love for my earth signs? <sighs> They're going to get out of the head. Eight of Swords is in reverse. Sagittarius. It's going to get out of their head and come towards you. This person possibly looks at themselves in the mirror and just talks to themselves. Like, okay, what should I do with this person? Can I can I give you this person what they need? This person is overwhelmed in their mental and in their emotions. One minute they're like, yeah, I got this. I'm good for this person. 11-11 11, 11 on the clock. This could be a twin flame of yours. I'm good for this person. And then they're either bound to something else. They hand, they're shackled. And they're like, shit, I can't get out of this. Or I can't get away from this. Or I'm not good enough, you know? They're very back and forth. Like they may feel like they're shackled to something, but they're really not shackled. It's just a, a narrative perception. Because you see here, the lady is just looking in the mirror and thinking that she's bound to whatever it is. But in actuality, she's free. Her hands are free. Her, her, her eyes are on, the blindfold's not on her eyes. But it's either this person's letting people, outsiders, get in their head or allowing their own personal conflict disrupt them. But the Sagittarius does want to put investment and does see a long term. I think just somebody is very fearful of sabotaging it by approaching maybe too quickly. You could be connecting with this person in the next eight days. This person wants to get in the boat with you and just row away from conflict row away from you know all these crows in the background trying to disrupt uh, each of you or both of you combined they're getting out of their head they're getting off their knees and out of their head and they're just they're gonna be courageous and come in They can't play lamb to it anymore. They can't stay quiet. They're like, okay, I gotta grab my balls. I gotta grab my heart and just put it on the table here. Let me just put it on the table for this person and hope that they can see that we can grow and we can have celebrations and we can combine families. You could have two kids, three kids, five kids. Maybe between the two of you, there's five kids. Six kids. Yeah, 64, 63. But this person is really looking for something to grow something real nice with you. Again, with the different decks. So you could be leaving a third party situation, possibly with a Virgo. person's done holding back it's going to take a lot for them to to persevere to come for you because i'm just so my chest is so heavy this person doesn't want you to see them in a bad light so much love energy like i'm getting so mad at myself because i'm letting my emotions just take over this whole fucking read. It's 
someone wants to give you love. They're ready. They this person's ready to give a couple love over. This person sees you as this empress or emperor, this nurturing motherly, fatherly person that just nurtures them emotionally. You meet their emotional needs. And that's what they like so much about you and that you don't you just you shine. Your energy is unmatched. That's why they're like, I gotta charge in. I gotta talk. I gotta talk. I gotta communicate. Knight of Swords. I need to send messages to, to you about, I wanna commit to you. Higher levels of commitment. Taurus, Libra, Cancer energy. So this person really wants to show you that they're the emperor matching you. Look at this. 16, 16 on the clock. Could be a twin. Oh, wait, what's, what else is there? Pentacles. So this is what's hiding somebody's hiding that they want to invest but they feel like maybe they don't have enough to invest or this could be what is this about because both of you are coming up as emperor and empress like established boss energy you know who you are you know what you want you both father mother whatever it doesn't have to be um then you have this guy. So you are these. You are the emperor. You are the empress. But sometimes I think you guys feel like you're the page of pentacles. Like this is in the head. Like, all right, I'm being viewed as this, but I really think I'm just this page. So there's some imposter syndrome here. Thinking that you don't have enough. Or it's just hidden that somebody wants to invest in you. You're not taking the breadcrumbs anymore from people. The Six of Pentacles is in reverse. So not begging for somebody's time and attention. If somebody wants wants you, they could come. You know, they could come for you. They got to come for you. <laughs> But <laughs> they want to come. They want to make you come. They have to come emotionally balanced. Capricorn energy and not toxic. What am I hearing here? There's something that I'm hearing. Like I keep hearing it, but I don't know what's making the noise. person's watching you watching you maybe seeing you come out of heartbreak from another relationship lovers here and wanting that emotional investment handing it over so this is flying right into you you may be getting um Flights, taking flights or having mileage like air mileage I forget what it's called somebody who could be a painter indigo M Let's see lily pads here somebody is in their feelings. That's obvious. With <laughs> this fucking energy. It's obvious. Uh, in their feelings. And they just. Feel like it's unsteady. With the li lily pads. Like alright. If I step here I'm going to sink a little bit. If I step there. But if I, if I run over it quick. You know. If I run over it. How. 
Okay, if I do it fast, then it it, it won't sink. Like I'll be caught. They'll ca catch catch me. <laughs> Somebody wants you to catch them. Catch them when they come in with their love energy. Like see me, catch me. <laughs> oh. They don't want you to hold back. They don't want to, you know, be greedy with you. They don't want you to be greedy with them. They want movement. This person's no longer nostalgic about past relationships. They're ready for a new passionate beginning with you. They've, they're traveling away from thieves. They're traveling away from people that have deceived them. That just don't got the goods for them. They're turning away from the spilt milk of past, past partnerships or past narratives. And they want to feel smug. They want to feel smug in your energy. They want to feel good with you. Wow. I see why the energy feels heavy. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Can't connect today maybe it's just a reset time maybe you guys just you know me myself too maybe you know i was talking to one of the guys at my gym today and uh i was like how was your new year's and he's like it was all right you know i spent, I spent it with family and everything and he's like yeah i don't really look at this as new year's and i'm like i don't look at this as a new year either to be honest it's really not a new year. It's just calendar. But if you think about it, right now it's winter solace, right? So we're supposed to be like resting and hibernating and recuperating. And then in the springtime is when we start planting our seeds and, you know, manifesting and uh, newness. So right now maybe there's a heavy push on us you know with these resolutions i don't usually make resolutions because I, I really don't look at it the same way as a lot of people and he was saying the same thing like yeah it goes over people's head when i say you know it's not really a regenerating time for me um so maybe that's what I'm feeling. Like a lot of people feel like they, they should be doing more right now. But it's up for time for us to isolate. It's time for us to, you know, uh, become closer in our, in our families and have warmth, you know. And contemplation period, I feel. But maybe some people, you know, just, you know, it creates stress on us. Oh, New Year, I need new goals. I need to do this and this. And this. No, all year long you should be thinking about these things. Not so much pressure at the beginning of the year. Oh, my God, it's beginning of the year. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yes, fresh slate. We want to go into the next year fresh slate. But. We're still going to be thinking about things that happened last year and still trying to catch up, you know. So you just have to basically keep your focus on you, on uplifting you, seeing yourself in higher regard. Don't overgive to people that aren't given to you. That's the main fucking thing because that's when we give ourselves heartbreak, when we give too much. To people that keep us in the dark to how they feel. Keep us in these stagnant relationships where you don't know where you're going, what you're doing. Waiting around. Um, being unclear. And I think somebody's understanding that they have to be clear with their intentions with you. They have to be clear and say that, yes, I see value in you. Yes, I have feelings for you. Yes, I want to invest in you. I want to build with you. Yes, I want to do those things with you. 
So this is going to be spoken about. You also have opportunities here. Business opportunities. Yes. Here's here's extra money. Here's new job. Here's a promotion. I feel like you guys are really starting to wa wa walk into your divine path. You know, into your purpose. Who's this person coming in for the earth signs? Yeah, I'm giving myself a fucking headache. You have a Pisces giving you a fucking headache. Um... This person is a little mysterious in their energy. I have to be honest with you. They're very mysterious. I think this person is an observer. They stay very quiet. They could be a bit inter intro introvert introverted. Spiritual, religious. You may look at this person as hiding just like a mystery this is person's a mystery to you that's probably why you want to get to know them more capricorn they're not showing up toxic so that's good they do want to fuck the shit out of you i'll tell you that <laughs> But they're, they're trying to stay very sh very quiet. This person's very low-key. They're like a little mouse. This is probably a type of person that doesn't, you know, fuck with many people. Because they know that they're valuable. So they don't, they don't deal with a lot of people. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's you guys. Oh, yeah. You're going through some rejection here. You're moving away from rejection. You're moving away from your ego being hurt. You're moving away from the, the, the Knight of Wands energy. Hit it, lick it, leave it. Maybe you're in playboy, playgirl energy. You went after a lustful connection, possibly, and wound up fucking hurt. <sighs> so you had an ego death because of it. But now you're holding true to who you are, valuable. I think you guys give, you're a good gift giver. You're sitting on your stability. This person feels like you are just a cutie pie. You're so cute, and you have such a healing nature about you you pour into them really nicely this person wants to heal your heart aquarius aries energy this person wants to heal you oh row away from conflict get you out of your head and rest well they want you in their bed resting with them like this person will massage your head with like oils and just making you feel comfortable. They may may have healing hands. <sighs> this week I can't. I don't know. Just, maybe you're just fucking bored. You're just like, I'm so bored with this bullshit. I'm bored with the fishy cup of love that these motherfuckers out here try to give me. I'm bored with people trying to take my blessings and my abundance and my good feel energy. I'm just fucking bored with all of it. I hear you. I'm bored with the fucking thieves. I'm traveling away. I'm bored with being nostalgic about past partners that were in reverse. Emperors in reverse. That didn't have a goddamn thing to give. <laughs> I'm ready for my ten of pentacles. Yeah, earth signs. You're just ready to get into your bag. You're ready to be showered with riches and love energy i think you're just ready for a fucking partnership you're like i'm fucking ready i am ready to share my time and attention and my money with someone here let me pet you so somebody wants to be petted <laughs> and showered and somebody's trying to figure out how to give you that 
Like, how do I give this person what they want? So this someone's trying to be the person that you need them to be. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands. Get out of indecision about you. Person's coming in. Getting out of immaturity or insecurity here. They're afraid that you're going to go aloof and cold on them and cut them off. Yeah, they got a little bit of fear here. But... The Two of Cups with the Death card. So somebody may be waiting for you to drop a relationship. To come into you. Yep. Look at that. With the Fool card. Death card and the Two of Cups. Someone's waiting and holding to get communication that you cut, you cut this shit off. That you're holding back from somebody now. And you close out a cycle with them and you travel away from them. So this why this person's up in the head or you? Because it's just a, a waiting game. You guys know that there there's feelings there, but it really not spoken about or it's uh like a forbidden forbidden love. But I feel very sad. <laughs> it's like Romeo and Juliet. You know, you want to be with this person, but you can't be with this person. I'm like, what the fuck? 56, 65. May 6th, June 5th. September 6th, June 9th. how the cookie crumbles sometimes but you know you're never shackled you're not shackled guys you're not you're not shackled you're afraid of being left out in the cold and lack energy but you're not you're not going to be left that way think you guys are stressing yourself out you're gonna have the truth and clarity come in and the communication coming in about this someone may be communicating like they they felt left out in the cold by you they felt like you walked away and you just hid yourself like you dipped you just dipped so this person may be used to people just ghosting them or dipping out or not giving them enough and you you got this person all in their fucking emotions charging in <laughs> they're charging in to get you out of feeling stuck and there you go that partnership to balance things they're gonna let you know that they want a partnership don't feel like left out by them They're like, why are you feeling left out? I got a whole lot of love energy for you. I'm not trying to get you stuck in anything. I think it's just you guys haven't had communication. And the lack of communication or hiding, it, this really threw somebody off, like, heavily. So this person could have... Anxious attachment style. The other person has avoidant attachment style. So you dipping out. Really threw this person into like a spiral of doubt. They're now doubting it. But it's saying it's going to be justified. Oh my god. This is just too much for me. <laughs> This is too much for me, guys. It's heavy, Sagittarius. It's heavy. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. This 
person looks at you as very patient and angelic. Kind of like an angel. This person looks at you. So, somebody's perception or something needs to be spoken about. You guys have to speak because you're birthing. There's a relationship birthing here. You're birthing a new relationship. You could be becoming pregnant. This person just sees you as the it person. But somebody has doubt. Look, this person just looks at you like, damn, you're just beautiful. Constantly creating. Constantly mother, mothering them or fathering them. I think that's going to be the title. It's not as it seems. I feel neglected. So somebody is in their limited beliefs and their insecurities. It's, hold on, it's not as it seems. So something got into someone's head to get them to feel or think this way. Somebody may be, I figured out what it was. It was the scraping of my zipper against the, so I feel like somebody's just like, maybe chewing out their nails or like with fidget things and just trying to grab how they're feeling like what they need to do somebody might have brass knuckles somebody maybe like just wanted to go on a punching spree punch of pillows maybe you know boxing all right let's see oh boom 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 the heart they got a whole lot of heart they're gonna show you they're gonna show you their heart See, divine message. It's going along. I need to cleanse. Shit. I need a good nap. Getting to know each other. So this person will be in getting to know you. They want to know more about you. Maybe a past life connection with this person. That's why you're so deeply connected here. You feel so deeply for this person emotionally. You feel this person's emotions. You may not know how to depict their emotions because you may be thinking it's a negative, but it is actually a really positive thing because they feel like there's a past life connection with you. You have both known each other before. And as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys have shown each other something here some kind of deep connection probably conversations of your your traumas what you've been through okay wedding i like say this person's trying to bring you wish fulfillment they're trying to bring togetherness, partnership. The situation involves marriage, wedding. This person sees you as marriage material. They already see themselves having children with you, being married to you. This all flashed before their eyes. And I think that's why they're freeing themselves from some things here. Free yourself. Thank you. I don't need the cards. 39.39 on the clock. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Love yourself first. And very soon, this person will be in for you. <sighs> this 
somebody feels like they're just mentally beat up from people around them, from their own shit. They're just mentally beat up. They feel very neglected. So this is what this person's always known. People to neglect them. People always neglect you. Please don't look, lose feelings. If somebody doesn't want you to lose feelings for them. They don't want you to retract your energy. That's why they're like, it's not as it seems. Like, communicate. Come and talk to me. You're amazing. <laughs> and I want you, baby. See? They want you. Stop being insecure about it. You're sexy as hell. Like, damn. Can it, can this person say any more? Like, you're amazing. I want you, baby. You're sexy as hell. I want to fuck. I don't want you to lose feelings for me. I don't want you to feel neglected. You broke my heart. Oh, you broke this person's heart by dipping out. It's misunderstanding here. You're always on my mind. So you guys have a little, you know, cracks in your foundation that's seeping out on one another, I think. The insecurities and overthinking. I had to hide how I felt. So that's somebody was hiding it. I need to heal. I think that's both of you guys. You both need to heal. But I think you're helping each other do this. Can't stop thinking about you. You're on somebody's mind very heavily here. Let's see. Sexy time. I think once you come together with this person, you're going to feel overjoyed. I think you're going to feel like a weight lifted off of you. I think you're going to bounce this really nice energy off of each other. So sexy time. My oracle decks are available. Deep penetration, down for three. So there's pr there was probably a third party, whether that's work or lovers, family, friends. Deep penetration. They want to go deep with you. You probably have really good deep conversations. Deep penetration didn't want to go away. So they, they definitely want to get in it. Real nice. Bend me over. So somebody may want it in the hiney hole. Deep penetration. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. You see, somebody was waiting. Waiting for you. And you dipped. Not nice. Did you get scared? Maybe somebody was scared of the communication or feeling guilty. Or feeling dumb. Just a karmic partner in reverse. So if you had a partner or they had a partner, they were feeling stupid by coming towards you. Because you're partnered up or they're partnered up already. Meet me in the shower. Well, they want to cleanse that energy right off. <laughs> they don't want to feel that anymore. Well, they do want to feel your pussy. Your pussy's so soft. Twin flame, we saw that. Masculine, feminine energy. And nibble on my neck. So somebody just wants to take a little nibble of your ass. They want to cuddle time. They just want to put their nose in your, in your neck. Yeah, cuddle time. So this is a sweet energy. They're coming. They're coming for you. What's the guidance? Adversity. So it may be a lot of adversity around this relationship. And different nationalities, different religions. Third party marriages. Um acts of service so if somebody's love language is acts of service you do for them and uh, they could be in the service in the military 
Uh, this has probably started off as a friendship or starting off as a friendship and there's peace and comfort coming in with this person. So even after adversity and jealousy and, you know, being battlegrounds, you then claim a friendship and uh, peace with this person and then you get your, your relationship there with them. It's looking good, moving ahead. It's looking real good. This is going a little too long for me. So TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, every Thursday night. There is um, enter to win a 20-minute tarot read with me. Throw up your zodiac sign. Uh, why are you wanting the read? And have a profile picture. You have to be uh, subscribed to. You have to be a subscriber of mine. Orphaned. So somebody feels left out, you may be an orphan. You may have lost your parents at a young age or you're in the, you, you are orphan. Five, so somebody's in neglect, that's why. Like feeling abandoned, oh no, go the distance. So somebody's gonna come the distance, they're charging after you, sexy ass. They're coming to the finish line. You could be 47, July 4th, April 7th. They're like, don't be in lack energy. Please don't be in lack energy. The fates. So this is a faded connection between the two of you. Oh, he's so warm. You might have, like, really smooth skin. You're a star in this person's eyes. 17. Damn. Enchanted gifts are coming to you. So somebody feels like you were just wrapped up for them. You were just meant for them they're like reaching at you like a little kitty cat <laughs> they won't pet your kitty pet your wando so nicely somebody may like the ballet somebody may be giving you a gift or a little gift box so they could be giving you a piece a uh, piece of jewelry that's also when this was scraping against here i was hearing like jewelry clanking i was thinking of rings like clanking together so this you know with the wedding card maybe somebody's giving you some type of jewelry or promise ring or something like that all right so that's what i got for you hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation i do appreciate all likes donations kind words you give me on a daily basis i have an amazon wish list and my link tree link below if you like to purchase something for the channel much appreciated personal reads are 20 sexy oh not not 20 20 minutes 55 um, sexy time reads are 65, 30 minute reads and 45, 40 minute reads are third. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so fucking tired. I think I need a mental break. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on in my life. So, yeah, I need to like check out for a minute. <laughs> Listen to my own advice. Check out. I, I was pretty checked out today, though. But whatever. I'll bounce out of it. I hope you guys do the same. Keep yourself in high regard. Follow on all outlets. Um, and don't forget to enter. All right? Enter below. Don't be shy. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Next up is water signs. Bye.